Hello students, I am going to show how to calculate negative feedback gain in a homeostatic control system. Let's solve this question. In an experiment, the mean blood pressure of a rabbit was decreased from 100 millimeters of mercury to 50 millimeters of mercury. After 5 minutes, the blood pressure came back to 75 millimeters of mercury. Calculate the gain of the control system involved. Gain of a control system is given by gain is equal to correction divided by error so now we have to calculate how much was the actual correction done and how much was the remaining error in this control system now um, to identify that we have to draw something called as a homeostatic response curve it has a y-axis and a x-axis so y-axis is the controlled variable that is the blood pressure here in millimeters of mercury and the x-axis is time let's draw this um, values now at the beginning it was 100 isn't it it was 100 and this is the set point of the system it was at 100 before any intervention so after doing the intervention let's say this is the point where the intervention was done from this point the blood pressure came back to 50 from 100 it came back to 50 so this is level 50 so this is without any intervention by the control system from 100 there is a disturbance it came back to 50 now the control system kicks in usually after a small delay and then gradually it brings it back to a level and that is 75 millimeters of mercury so the set point was 100 the original value the disturbance brought it to 50 and the homeostatic system corrected it back to 75 this is a negative feedback system that's why it is coming back towards the original value now there are two values we have to calculate one is correction and uh, error correction is the difference between the final value after the correction and the change done before the correction so this will be so the correction will be equal to 75 minus 50 millimeters of mercury and divided by error will be the remaining error that is that is the difference between the final corrected value and the original set point the difference between the two so this is 75 minus 100 so this would be 25 by minus 25 and this is equal to minus 1. So this is the gain of the control system, negative 1, minus 1. And you can see from the formula, the error is uh, in the denominator. So if the error is very low, then the gain is going to be higher. So as lower the error, the higher the gain. So higher the gain, effectiveness of the system is higher. Let's consider one more example. Here it was decreasing. Let's consider one more example where the blood pressure was increased. So in this experiment, um, an adult male blood pressure was increased by injecting a drug. And after the control system brought it back to 110 millimeters of mercury. You just pick up what is the relevant information over here and then draw the response curve again so it's y-axis and x-axis now the controlled variable is um, the set point is again 100 but instead of decreasing here they have increased it to 150 and then it has come back to 110 eventually so initially it was 100 and this is 150 and it came back to 110 that is the final value so now the formula gain is equal to correction by error so the correction is the final corrected value and minus the original value before the correction applied so that is 110 minus 150 divided by the error is the remaining error that is the difference between the corrected value and the original set point so 110 minus 100 so this would be minus 40 divided by 10 so this is, this is minus 4 
now you can see this gain value is slightly higher than the previous one that's minus one and this is minus four and you can see the error is much lesser compared to the previous experiment so higher the gain then the numerical value so ignore the sign it is negative because of this is the negative feedback system higher the magnitude of the gain higher is the effectiveness of the control system what if there is no error if the error is zero whatever the uh, you know the change the correction has completely did it for example in this experiment let's say it went to 150 and it came back to 100 itself so in this situation correction would be um, uh, like let's say 50 and the error would be zero if the error is zero then this formula becomes the answer becomes infinity yes if a control system is completely error free then the gain value is going to be minus infinity in human body also we have certain control system which have a infinity level feedback which means the error is absolutely zero one example is renal pressure volume control system which we will discuss in detail in renal physiology thanks for watching if you have any doubt please leave it in the comment thank you